We've been very successful in the recent past in building the foundation. This will take us to the next level. It's time that we take advantage of the opportunities that we have here and the assets we have. This is the very time we cannot afford to be complacent. Well, there's nothing more powerful than an idea whose time has come. I believe that this is the foundation for the future of Indiana. It's also going to improve the job market, the economy, and, and the whole environment in Indiana. We have a real opportunity to make a difference in the lives of those people afflicted with all kinds of disease. This is great for Indiana. Research today is done in silos. Research in the future is going to have to be collaborative. It's going to have to be much quicker. Progress in the life sciences in the 21st century means breaking down barriers. We have within the state of Indiana world-class companies uh, in the life sciences, in agricultural sciences, in the medical device business, in diagnostics. We have world-class research universities. There is no other part of the country that has this rich and diversified a life sciences base as Indiana does. Creating a research institute that gives our life sciences industry a more effective means of interacting with the world-class research universities and colleges that we have here in Indiana is just an idea whose time has come. The Institute will act as a catalyst for that collaboration by bringing all of those diverse but aligned assets together. When you talk about the Institute, uh, it's building on that history of collaboration that's been going on for 25 years so that we can take advantage of what we each know, do what we do best, and yet contribute as a whole to keeping Indiana at the very top in terms of the life sciences in this country and around the world. Essentially what the Institute does is to ask the market, what do you want to do? What diseases are you trying most urgently to cure. And I think metabolic disorders like diabetes, obesity, those, those areas are very, very important problems that we have to tackle. It's the sort of big problem, the sort of big issue that I believe a research institute like this is poised uh, to tackle. This type of research and hopefully the, the translational effects are going to have a very real impact on, on the health of Hoosiers. That's where the collaboration has real power. That's where curing as well as preventing the disease become the end goal. It's tremendous. It will be very efficient, very effective, and we know it will benefit the community too. We wanted to do something that would advance human health, but also, frankly, would advance our state's economy. I think we could be very proud of what we've accomplished to date. We have 2,000 life sciences companies in the state of Indiana. We account for $50 billion of annual GDP in this state. Uh, we have put Indiana uh, on the map. And this Biosciences Research Institute will not just advance therapies and medicines of tomorrow, but I believe by attracting new investment in Indiana, we'll create the entrepreneurial ventures and create the jobs for tomorrow. The Research Institute also offers us a unique opportunity to attract some of the world's best talent. We're good, but we could be even better if we come together and really work together in harness together uh, to make some bigger and better things happen. We have a unique opportunity to take advantage of the strengths that we have today to move ourselves forward, to grow our economy, to help the people of Indiana. This institute has tremendous opportunity for great success and to innovate uh, and, and discover great things. It's right for Indiana. I think it's right for jobs in Indiana. And it's one more way that we as Hoosiers uh, can make a commitment to the health and well-being of our people. Isn't it a wonderful thing? that Indiana can be the petri dish for innovation that will improve the health of the world.